Hey guys, so um, I had made a video earlier, I'm not sure if it will be posted yet, but showing you guys how I did my Marilyn Monroe epoxy stickers, and I'm going to actually turn them into earrings, but what I want to show you, and sorry for my printer being back there, I'm going to do Disney Princess next, and I just want to show you really fast how I seal them. What I use is the Mod Podge Matte Finish. Got it at Hobby Lobby. It was $4.99. I'm just going to pour a tiny bit into um, a little medicine dispenser because I don't want to dip it, keep dipping into my bottle. So I'm just going to dip my little brush in there and loosen it up. Get the excess off. And this is how I do it. I just lightly. I don't know if there's another way to do this, so if there is, somebody leave me a message in the comments, but this is how I do it, because if you don't seal it, then you'll have those little black spots under your epoxy stickers, like I showed you on my Marilyn Monroe, and I don't like it, so we're doing it over here, and it doesn't take long to dry. You don't want to put a whole bunch, because as you can see, I'm using regular printer paper, and my paper's already starting to bulge a little bit. So, but you want to use enough to where it will coat it. So I'm going to do this, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, here's what my stickers, well, my paper looks like. Now, you can see where I've painted on the Mod Podge to seal it. This one too. Um, it does it does bump up after of course you get the paper wet it's gonna crinkle so I just sit it under my mat here and it flattens them out. So this is what they look like sealed. Now I'm gonna show you something. I didn't do this on purpose. This was an accident. When you're doing this you have to make sure that all of the Mod Podge is like clearly on the picture. You can't have like a big glob of white Mod Podge sitting because when it dries it's going to look like this. On Tatiana, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like um, a mark on the Mod Podge not being even on her. So you have to be careful with that. So now my images are done and I have my epoxy stickers. I bought some more today but I'm going to finish using these. Um, and I'm going to do the Little Mermaid. You just have to make sure you have, you know, you have it where you want it. So let's see. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, which I've already gone through this, I'm going to peel one of the epoxy stickers off without touching the back because I don't want to leave fingerprints. I'm just going to figure out where I want it on my paper. And I'm just going to completely stick it down flat. Now you can still see the gray areas from it being paper, but not as bad. Okay, so there's that one. I really do need to invest in some printer paper for pictures because this regular paper just isn't working for me. But you gotta deal with what you gotta deal with. I'm just going to put it flat down. I'm not putting a lot, a lot of pressure. I am putting some, but I don't want to mess up my epoxy sticker. So then we're pretty much about even. And then what I do is I would just take my scissors, cut my little aerial out. And set the rest to the side because I'm obviously still going to use them. Probably could have done more than one coat and it probably wouldn't have been as um, I don't even know how to describe that, but it's grainy, I guess. But that's okay because it's just going to be on earrings and I'm just going to trim around it. I actually bought epoxy, actual epoxy, I'm sorry, actual resin 
to try out tonight, so I'm gonna try to give it a go and see how it turns out. I might do a tutorial, I'm not sure yet because I've never used it. So we'll just have to see. But I'm just carefully making sure I don't cut the actual epoxy sticker and cutting out my little mermaid. And there she is. You can still see some of the gray. I'm sure you can catch it on the camera. I'm going to do the same with this one here. With the photo paper, I don't think it will do that. But for tutorial purposes, I just want to show you. Because the paper is glossy, the printer paper. So, I don't know. I wouldn't think that it would be like that. And there's my other one. And those are going to be my Little Mermaid stickers. And I'm not done. Once I have the stickers on there, I'm going to turn them over. I'm going to take my little brush with my Mod Podge. It's already hardened up a little bit, so I'm going to loosen up my brush because I don't want to sc scrape off any color off my photos. And I'm just going to seal the back. Making sure I don't get any Mod Podge on the actual epoxy sticker on the other side because, of course, it'll be grainy, it won't be clear. So, you could probably do more than one if you wanted, but I might do more than one, I'm not sure yet because I don't want the E6000 to leak through my Little Mermaid and discolor her on the paper, so. Just being really careful not to get it on the sides. And there we go. And you can look and make sure you can coat it completely, which this one could probably use a little more. So I'm just slightly brushing on my Mod Podge. Do it again on this one. Not too, too much because. Like I said, this is paper. Okay. Yep. And then I would just let these guys dry. And once they're done drying, I will take oops, my lacy stiff stuff. It looks like this. It looks like felt, but it's not. It's much, much sturdier and stronger, as you can see. And I will take my E6000, and that's what that looks like. I'll just put a little bit on the back, stick it down firmly, all one piece. Same thing on the other side, stick it down firmly, and I'll let it sit there for maybe about 15-20 minutes, and then I'm ready to bead. So I'm probably going to start beading these tonight. This or My Little Mermaid, I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided, but that's my tutorial, guys, and I hope you like it, and I hope I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.